Gemini 3 Pro is here and today I'm going to have a look at the model. I'm going to compare it against some other AR models to see if it's any good. And I'm going to have a look at some of the new things that we can do now with this more powerful model. So jumping into artificialanalysis.ai, this is just an AI model LLM benchmarking tool that I typically go to to have a look and compare different models to see which ones are supposedly the better ones. And they've also now recently added Gemini 3 Pro, which we can see all the way at the top of the index here, which is at 73. And you can obviously see that this is much greater than all the other models. And ultimately this specific benchmark is just rating the overall intelligence and reasoning ability of these models. We can also have a look at the coding index, which is its ability to be able to produce working code. And we can see here Gemini 3 Pro also pretty much killing out all of these other models. And then the agentic index as well. So reference the average agentic capability benchmarks. And we can see Gemini 3 Pro preview at the top of this as well. So pretty much killing it in all three of these key benchmarks. So pretty safe to say that this should be a pretty epic model. And supposedly this is going to be the most advanced, most powerful, best model ever released. And if you've used Gemini 2.5 Pro before, you'll probably know that that was also a very good model, very capable at doing reasoning has a very large context window as well. So we can feed it a lot of information and it's able to retain context in vast amounts of information. So pretty exciting stuff. So first I'm gonna jump into the Google AI Studio. This is where we're able to play around with, with all of Google's AI tools. So that includes Nano Banana, which is their image generation model, Gemini Live, which is their voice agent tool, VO3, which is for creating videos, and then just a bunch of other functions as well with Google Maps, Google search data, all of the typical stuff that you can get from Google. So first off, one of the most powerful things that is now being done with this new Gemini 3 Pro model is a lot of coding tasks. So obviously it's a really good coding model as shown with the benchmark. This is something that we can use to generate applications, whether that's software or web pages using the Gemini 3 Pro model. It should be able to generate some really complex softwares and tools uh, with very minimal errors. So first up, I'm gonna tell it to recreate the Flappy Bird game. If you can remember that game, I'm gonna ask it to recreate it. And we're just gonna have a look at what it's able to do on this new model. All right, so I've just told it to create the Flappy Bird video game. It is doing its work right now. This right here is Google's app builder as well. So this is also brand new where we can now start to build apps and websites and whatnot uh, through just typing to it in a natural way. And we're gonna see the application pop up on the screen right here within Google's AI Studio. So this is very similar to a system like Replit or Lovable where we're able to just prompt apps into existence. All right, so it just completed Flappy AI, as you can see here on the screen, already looking pretty awesome with the graphics. We've got the background moving as well, which is very accurate uh, for what the real game has. Hit the start game button. I've no idea if it even works yet, so I'm gonna try it out right now. Okay, it seems the game is a little bit glitched here, so it hasn't one-shotted it, unfortunately. Uh, if I hit the retry button, you'll see that the bird kind of just dies as soon as it starts. So I'm just gonna tell it to fix that. All right, so I just told it that the bird is just falling immediately and I'm unable to keep it in the air, which was sort of the problem that I was having. Uh, and it has fixed it right away. So hit retry and you'll see, there we go, awesome. So I can now jump around and I'm gonna try and get a really high score here, but probably not. Uh, but there we go, pretty awesome that I was able to, to generate this game pretty much literally in two sentences. Uh, and this is a game that you could literally publish to the app store um, and use on a browser. Uh, and it's literally one shot of this game uh, and I've died. It's so a pretty awesome stuff. And this is gonna be probably one of the biggest use cases of this Gemini 3 Pro model because it is gonna be a super powerful model. It has a huge context window and it is really good at coding. This is probably gonna be one of the top things to use it for. But obviously next to code generation is just gonna be your typical use of the AI model as well. So this right here is just Gemini, gemini.google.com. So this is just your chat GPT alternative where we can just talk to it and get answers to questions and write content and copy for us. Um, and this is gonna be obviously powered by 3 Pro as well. Now I won't bore you with just asking random questions and just seeing if the responses are any good or not. I'm confident that it's gonna create some pretty good answers. Um, obviously this is a better model than 2.5 Pro, which was also incredible at generating responses for us as well. One of the big things that's come out recently by Google is Nano Banana Pro. So this is a pro version of Nano Banana and this is powered by Gemini 3.0. And the big benefit of it is its ability to generate text within its images without really having any spelling mistakes or issues with it. And if you have used Nano Banana before, you'll know that it's pretty good at doing text, although every once in a while it can mess up a sentence or just completely uh, forget text to add, or it might just mess the text up. But with the new Nano Banana Pro model, it's actually really good now and I'll showcase that. So we can just hit the tools button and click create images. This is automatically gonna be using Nano Banana Pro. And if you just make sure that thinking is set to thinking with three pro. So now we are using obviously the three pro model. So I'm gonna provide it with this text right here. So I'm gonna try and just tell it to put this text on like a poster and just see how good it is at actually putting that text accurately. So let's see what happens. I just told it to create a poster image, add some cool graphics around it. And then hopefully it's gonna be able to include 
this text as well and see if we can do it accurately. So here we go. Let's have a look at the text. If we're going to click on this, hey, I'm Brendan from Australia. I run Inflate AI, helping businesses integrate AI solutions and reliable attesting tool for AI agents. Click out of this. That is literally spot on with what I provided it with. There has not been a single mistake in the text that is put in here, which is pretty awesome because that's pretty rare. If I try to get it to generate multiple times over, and now to prove the point even more, if I told it to change the graphics, this is where the, the typical nano banana would typically kind of mess up. It would maybe change the text in a way that we didn't want it to. So we can put it to the test by telling it to change some of the graphics. So I told it to please change the graphics to be more minimalistic and modern. So we're just trying to get it to change up some of the designs around it. Once again, typically on nano banana, this is where at least I've usually found it to just mess up the text because it kind of just forgets what the text was previously. Uh, so if you, can, if you can pull this off, then that's pretty awesome. And here we are. So, hey, I'm Brendan from Australia. I run Inflate AI, helping businesses integrate AI solutions and reliable testing tool for AI agents. So that is amazing. That has not even messed up any of the text at all. This is where the typical nano banana might mess up the text a little bit, or you know, it might forget the exclamation mark, or it might mess it up and make it look um, just a bit weird, but it's literally nailed it right here. So this for me is a pretty amazing upgrade. This is something that we're gonna be able to use to create YouTube thumbnails, social media ads, social media posts, LinkedIn carousels, literally all of that stuff. You're gonna be able to literally generate posts that look like they're not even created by an AI. You're gonna have text, which is gonna be consistent and consistently able to output accurately without any artifacts. So lastly, for what we can do with Gemini 3, obviously jumping into N8N here. If you're not familiar with N8N, this is an automations platform to build custom AI agents. And obviously we're gonna have access to Gemini 3 Pro as well as Nano Banana Pro right here. And we're going to be able to add this into our workflows. So if we wanted to build out a social media content generation system, like I have done in some of my previous videos, we could jump in here and add the pro model. So in NNN, what we have is a message and model. If we click the plus button up here, we can just type Gemini and you can see the Gemini is natively integrated. And this message and model right here, we can access the Gemini 3 Pro preview model. And then alongside the 3 Pro preview model, we can also scroll within this list. And I think it's about all the way at the bottom, I think. You'll see here Nano Banana Pro Preview as well. So we can generate images with a awesome text uh, literally through this module. We can use this to analyze images as well. So with this module, we can add the Gemini 3 Pro Preview model here as well, and we can use it to analyze images. So there's obviously an unlimited amount of stuff that you can build here on NADN with these new modules. They're obviously gonna be a lot more powerful. I would definitely recommend adding this directly into any workflow that has some sort of a complex task that needs to be completed with maybe a larger context window or just requires that extra bit of reasoning power. And if you wanna build some sort of a conversational AI system, the AI agent step here on NADN uh, is gonna be able to get powered by Gemini 3 Pro as well. Uh, we can use Open Router, which just allows us to use one API key to get access to thousands of AI models. And this once again, obviously is supporting the Gemini 3 Pro preview model and we can connect it as its chat model into the agent. And now we can start to speak back and forth with our model. If you want to learn more about AI and AI news and the best ways to build AI and automations, I would 100% recommend checking out my free school community, which I'll have linked in the description. We've got over 20,000 members now. We've got 50 plus AI agent templates and courses. It's a great place if you are a beginner and you want to learn about AI and you want to upskill yourself to be the best at it as possible. Once again, it's completely free and I'll have it linked down below. If you do want to see me build an AI voice agent using Gemini 3 Pro, check out this video right here.